I have something for you today that once you understand and grasp the severity of what it implies will probably blow your mind. Um, this is a message that I'm sure a lot of you have seen and uh, maybe just skimmed over on your Facebook feed or maybe on over WhatsApp somebody sent it to you via WhatsApp. Um, this is a message that I think is going to go largely unnoticed and, and misunderstood for sure but I want to just go over the message and hopefully by the time I've finished with it um, you will actually understand and grasp what this this message actually implies and the, and the consequences of, of this situation. So yeah guys, uh, this is the, the message as I received it. Um, it doesn't make uh, too much sense in the beginning. I'll try to correct the, 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 the mistakes in the, in the sentence. Uh, it says, whatever the state capture under the former president, I take it that's former president Jacob Zuma, it is child's play when compared to the open shameless rape that is about to happen right under our noses for a vital and necessary service for the average South African. Ramaphosa, South Africa's president, is married to Patrice Mutsepe's sister, Tsepo Mutsepe. Jeff Fredebe, who is South Africa's renewable energy minister, is married to Patrice Mutsepe's other sister, Bridget Mutsepe. So both the president and energy minister are married to sisters of a man who owns the biggest and leading energy company in the country, African Rainbow Energy and Power, or AREP for short. Brian Damus, or Damus is the CEO of African Rainbow Energy and Power. He is the former group CEO of ESCOM. In December 2018, Brian Damus resigned from the ESCOM sustainability task team due to a conflict of interest. I wonder why. AREP investment, or business strategy, is on generation, transmission and distribution. Now, where have we heard those three words before? ESCOM, according to President Ramaphosa, SONA 2019, will be broken down into generation, transmission and distribution, breaking ESCOM into three entities exactly matching the AREP strategy raises eyebrows. AREP is run by a former group CEO of ESCOM who was initially in the ESCOM sustainability task team, raises more eyebrows. The fact that all these decision makers are related is mind-blowing. The fact that Energy Minister Jeff Fredebe is refused or rather has refused to release the names of the owners of 27 independent power producers who have entered into multi-billion rand agreements with government is unscrupulous. Then the President authorizes an energy deal with independent power producers and then the Minister of Energy, I will take it that's Jeff Debe, signs that deal worth an estimated 56 billion rand. Now the next thing is to create a falsified energy crisis in the country that will be so severe that business will take a serious hit. For example, the new load shedding schedule. In order to render ESCOM incapacitated, the bigger plan is to intentionally, purposely create and promulgate a plan that ESCOM is incapacitated so that the brothers-in-laws are set for an in-your-face takeover of this crucial South African asset. Wake up South Africa before it is too late. Elections are coming up. Wake up. So what does this all mean? Well, firstly, Matrice, well, or sorry, uh, Patrice Matsepe is one of, if not the richest people in South Africa. He owns the biggest private energy company in the country, which is African Rainbow and Power. Our president is married to one of his sisters. Jeff Fredebe, who is the Minister of Renewable em Energy, is married to another of Patrice's sisters. Brian Damus, who was the former Group CEO of ESCOM, resigned from ESCOM in 2018 and is now with African Rainbow Energy and Power. He is their Group CEO. The company owned by Patrice Masepe, who is who or rather whose business model perfectly matches that of the new strategy to split ESCOM up into three, three separate entities or three separate companies. Jeffrey Debe has refused to divulge the names of the owners of 27 independent power producers who have signed multi-billion rand deals with the government. I wonder why. The president, who is married to the sister of the owner of Rainbow Energy and Power, Patrice Matsepe, has now authorized this deal and the Minister of Energy, I take it that's uh, Jeffrey Debe, has signed it. This deal with the private power producers is estimated to be worth 56 billion rand. 
Now, what do these three entities need to be able to kick off this plan? The collapse of ESCOM, of course. As anyone living in South Africa right now can attest, we are experiencing severe problems at ESCOM right now and have been put on stage 4 load shedding, which is the stage right before total shutdown. This, after President Ramaphosa announced a week ago that he does not foresee load shedding any time soon, and also after Jacob Zuma announced a while ago that South Africa will never ever see load shedding again. When ESCOM collapses totally, and I'm pretty sure if this plan of theirs is, is put into full, full swing, I'm pretty sure it will collapse, this deal with the private power producers will kick in and they will take over the total power production for the whole entire South Africa. Can you imagine how, we are, how they are going to screw the public once that happens? The South African public will literally be at the mercy of these people and their sinister plans. We have the makings of the biggest capture this country has ever seen and it is happening right under our noses in full view. You know the saying, you can't see the wood for the trees comes to mind or if you want to hide something, put it in plain sight. This makes the so-called state capture under Jacob Zuma look like an amateur show. This is so well orchestrated and so beautifully planned that it is almost impossible to believe that they could have come up with this by themselves. I still believe that there is a far greater force behind all of this. These individuals are just not capable of coming up with these elaborate and sophisticated ideas like this by themselves. Now, although I have some ideas on who or what might be behind all of this, that falls outside of the scope of what I started this channel for. There are other ways of dealing with these external driving forces, but this channel is my contribution to dealing with our immediate threat on the ground in South Africa. If you enjoyed this, or rather if, if you now understand what this message implicates and, and what it actually means to you and I and every single person and the economy of this country as a whole, you will, under, you will now understand how huge this whole thing is and it is it's beautifully planned but it is really so simple if you look at it like this. Um, this, is states, the, this is the pinnacle of state capture. Anyway, if you uh, got some value from this, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. Um, if you'd like to share it with you, uh, on, on any other social media platform, just click on the share button, the box will open up. You will get the direct link and the word copy next to it. Just copy that, it will copy it directly to your clipboard and you can share it on any social media platform that you wish. Um, also, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified of uh, my next upload. Thank you for listening and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.